spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Today marks the feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. It's not only that anyone is wondering why we celebrate that feast of the Lateran Basilica or what is the Lateran Basilica. The Lateran Basilica is the cathedral church of the Bishop of Rome, namely the Pope. The Vatican is not his cathedral church. The Basilica of St. John Lateran. Takes its Lateran name from the family that once owned the land on which it is built. It's a huge basilica and it's known as the mother church of the city, that is, of the city of Rome, and of the world because it's the Pope's cathedral. So we remember, especially in our Mass this morning, not only our own needs but the needs of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, and to you my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, and what, what I have done, done and what I have failed to, to do, to do through, through my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all ages and saints, and you, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for, to me, pray for me to, Lord to the Lord our God. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, and earth peace, peace to people, people of good will. Will. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, you, we glorify you. you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, Lord God Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, of the world have mercy on us. You take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world to receive, receive our prayer. prayer. You, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Have, have mercy on us. For, for you, you alone, alone are the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. With, the With the Holy Spirit, in the, the glory of God, God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple, for a stream came out from under the temple threshold and flowed eastwards, since the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate where the water flowed out on the right hand side. He said, this water flowed east down to the Arabah and to the sea, and flowing into the sea it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful, for wherever the water goes, it brings health, and life teems wherever the river flows. Along the river on either bank will grow every kind of fruit tree, with leaves that never wither, and fruit that never fails. They will bear new fruit every month, because this water comes from the sanctuary. And their fruit will be good to eat, and the leaves medicinal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, 
The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of hosts is with us. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. You are God's building. By the grace God gave me, I succeeded as an architect and laid the foundations on which someone else is doing the building. Everyone doing the building must work carefully. For the foundation, nobody can lay any other than the one which has already been laid. That is Jesus Christ. Didn't you realise that you were God's temple and that the Spirit of God was living among you? If anybody should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy him, because the temple of God is sacred, and you are that temple. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, for my name to be there forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to your Lord. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and in the temple he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons, and the money changers sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over, and said to the pigeon sellers, Take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, what sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, Destroy this sanctuary, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, It has taken 46 years to build this sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was in his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. The response to our prayers of intercession this morning is, Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Our sufferings bring acceptance. Acceptance brings hope. And our hope will not deceive us, for the Spirit has been poured into our hearts. It is through the same Spirit that we pray. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Help us to realise that our troubles are slight and short-lived, that they are as nothing compared with the joy we shall have when we reach our home with you. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Come to the lonely, the unloved, those without friends. Show them your love and help them 
to care for their brothers and sisters. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Take away our pride, temper our anger. May we follow you in your gentleness, and may you make us humble of heart. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Give us the fullness of your spirit. Make our love for each other generous and sincere. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. As I mentioned at the beginning of Mass, we keep in our prayers at this Mass this morning, uh, Pope Francis. We pray that God will fill him with all the wisdom of Solomon and support and guide him in his ministry as chief pastor of the church. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. All those who are poorly in mind or body, and we pray through the intercession of our Lady of Lourdes and Saint Bernadette that they may be strengthened and sustained. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. We pray through for all those families, particularly those families in our own parish who are mourning the loss of a loved one. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. We also pray for all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the victims who have died. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Lastly, Pray for the dead. We remember in a special way this morning Joey McCann, Ellie Scullion, Jim Dudley, Francis McQuillan, Frank Dummingen, and Mary Dudley, all of whose anniversaries occur today. And we continue to keep in our prayers those who have gone to God of recent days and weeks, commending. To God's infinite mercy, the souls of Sheila Smith, Tommy Derry, Marion Martin, the column laid of Lurgan and Formerly of Portadown, Jared Rudy, Nora Mathalinden, Molly Murphy, Philomena Poe, Philip McCormick, Seamus O'Hare, and Bishop Basilio de Nascimento. And we pray that God may welcome these deceased and all our own deceased loved ones into that home he has prepared for them for all eternity. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Let us pray. Increase in us, Lord, your gift of faith, so that the praise we offer you may ever yield its fruit from heaven through Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual fruit. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the faith and glory of the name, for the good of the good of all of his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made me you, and grant that by it those who seek your favour may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers through Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, we Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so, with all the angels and saints, we pray you, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, 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 Blessed is he who comes in the Lord, O Son of Adam. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your peace. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her Father, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us unto temptation and the us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who have seen. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us.
O sacrament, the holy of sacrament of life, all praise and all thanksgiving, be a ring of thine. O sacrament, the holy of sacrament of life, all praise and all thanksgiving, be a ring of thine. O sacrament, the holy of sacrament of life, all praise and all thanksgiving, be a ring of thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, all my trust in you. Immaculate heart of the earth. For protection today and every day. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love brings me near, ever this day be on my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful depart. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace 
and be it the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.